So today's video is going to be my boxy sherm of boxy. I feel like I said that so weird. I wonder how many people are annoyed by the fact that I say Bexy Sherm and not Boxing Charm. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there. But anyway, that's okay, that's okay. Today we are gonna be diving into the box. I was actually really excited when I was looking through the items because it looks to me like there are some promising things in this box. I'm in my pajamas, by the way. Literally in my, <laughs> I was well. Literally in my Star Wars pants and my Cynthia shirt. We like to keep it really laid back in these boxy sherm videos here on my channel. But how are you guys today? I'm drinking another uh, mango dragon fruit refresher. I get mine without lemonade and I recently bought a travel cup so that I don't have to keep buying this plastic and well, buying all this waste. But I completely forgot this time to take it to Starbucks so I couldn't like, yeah, I had to get the cup. But I have been so good about not getting the actual plastic. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, oh my gosh. I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in forever because all of my videos last week were pre-recorded Monday through Friday because I was in Colorado all of last week. I got there Tuesday morning and I just got back. It's Sunday right now. I got back last night and um, if you can see the bruise on my nose, that was caused by a snowball. <laughs> Actually, it was caused by my phone. I was holding the phone in front of my face and I was trying to get a cool video of Danny throwing a snowball in slow motion. But the snowball hit my phone too hard and then it smacked me right in the nose and yeah, it's intense. I thought my nose was broken for a second. It looks broken to me. <laughs> like it looks like a little slanted that way. I have a huge bruise right here and it hurts so bad. Also, don't look at my nails. I haven't done them in a million years. I'm wearing winter is coming because I was going to Colorado, but they're super chapped. Okay, now that we have that super long intro out of the way, I just wanted to say I miss you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. And yeah, I okay, Let's get into it. So, the theme we've got going on this month is La Vie en Rose. It's a very pinky, rosy theme this month, which I'm super into. I don't necessarily love rose-scented products, but I do like pinky, rosy type of makeup. Is that weird? Okay. So the first thing in our box is actually a face mask. This is from the brand Wander Beauty. I don't know much about this brand, but I do love their Nude Illusion Foundation. Ugh, it's one of my favorites. This is their Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. Ooh, it has acai, goji berry, blueberry, lychee, mangosteen, green tea leaf extract. It's supposed to instantly purify and replenish dull skin. Excess oil and impurities are drawn out and absorbed by kaolin clay. And it's supposed to reveal a smoother, clearer, brighter complexion. <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice, I was like screaming in the snow. But all right, I washed my face before I put on my eyebrows. I definitely should have put on my eyebrows after this, but I didn't think about it. So it just says to smooth an even layer over your face and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Ooh, it has like a pearl finish. Interesting. Oh man, I didn't grab my mirror. It's in the bathroom in my bedroom. I'm just gonna hold this mirror with my knees. Ah, and do it like that. This thing dries pretty quickly. I'm like trying to rub it into my skin and it gets so tacky and sticky right away. All right, now that we've got that on our face, we're just gonna wait 10 to 15 minutes. I didn't put some on my nose. I don't know why, I just didn't. <laughs> I just wanna leave poor little Sally alone for a second. She's been hit pretty hard. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this face mask on for about 15 minutes and then we will peel it off. Oh, peel off masks, great. I hope I put enough. Cause usually if you don't put a thick layer, it's like hard to peel off. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think I put enough. Okay, I'm back. So this has been on my face for 15 minutes and I know for a fact that I didn't apply enough. Like I didn't do a thick enough layer. How am I gonna peel this off? Like, what? <laughs> it doesn't say smooth, a thick even layer. It just says smooth and even layer. And slowly peel off from the edges. Maybe down here. Oh my gosh. Why on earth? Why did I do this? I don't like peel off masks, I don't. I realize I don't like peel off masks. Maybe if you're like a Scorpio, you like this, but. <gasps> I should have done a thicker layer. The thinner the layer, the more it hurts. Yo, am I crazy? This like really hurts. Am I that much of a wuss? Or is this like excruciating? This is gonna take forever. Definitely, if you're gonna use this, apply a thick layer because it's gonna be easier to peel off that way and it's probably gonna be a lot less painful. This is so thin, it's gonna take forever for me to remove this. <sighs> oh my gosh. Can you imagine me in childbirth? I don't know how you women do it. No, I'm not pregnant. I know that's gonna spark something in the comments. Three hours later. Learn from my mistakes, people. More is more. Less is not more. Like. 
How can I peel this off? It's way too thin. It's too thin. It's too thin. It's too thin. The layer around my mouth is so thin, it is impossible to remove. Forget it, I'm just gonna take this part off with water over my sink, because it's just not gonna happen. I can't take this anymore, I can't take this anymore. I'm gonna go remove the rest of my face mask with soap and water. Okay, so I just removed the face mask and it was really, really easy to remove with some warm water. So if you get this box and try it out and halfway through the peeling, you're like, I can't do this. Just remove it with some water. And granted, I know that the peeling, like the whole peel off process is what really draws out the impurities. Like you should definitely try to peel it if you can, but I feel like it gets the job pretty done. Even when you remove it with water. <laughs> I had some still on my nose there, which I could've sworn I didn't put any on my nose, but. I had some shiny stuff on my nose. Anyway, my skin looks really good actually. I have some redness from where I peeled the mask. I'm not gonna lie, like I have some some little red spots. But my skin feels so incredibly soft and it looks really smooth. My pores even look a lot smaller than they did a little while ago. So I don't know. Is it painful? Yes. I mean, I definitely didn't apply enough. But does it do the job? I wanna say yeah. Of course, face masks are different. You have to try them out a few times to really get a feel for them. But so far, so good. You know, based off first impressions, my face feels clean, it looks clean. It hurts a little bit, but I think I could take that. I'm gonna hang on to this. At first when I was peeling it off, I was like, I'm gonna give this away. But my skin feels really, really clean right now and I'm so used to using really hydrating masks. I don't know. I'm gonna hang on to this and use it a few more times and see how I really feel, but so far so good. Okay, so we do have a few more things in the box, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. Not all of it, because there are some things I need to use in this box, but yeah, I'm gonna go do that, and I will be right back. Okay, so I just quickly applied foundation and concealer. That's it, because we have a face palette in here. But I just wanna quickly mention that my face feels hot, and I definitely think it was that face mask. Like, as I was applying my makeup, my face started to feel really hot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's fine now. I don't feel it anymore. For like a hot second there, I was feeling hot. I don't know if that face mask is great for my skin since I have dry, sensitive skin, but I'm still gonna use it more and see what's up. But anyway, let's keep going. So the next thing in the box is this. These are two face brushes. These are from the brand Mola, and this is the two-piece powder and soft glow set. So you have one powder brush and like one highlighting brush, I suppose. This is what they look like. I really like the packaging. This is really pretty. I don't usually love brushes like this. If it was bigger, I would like it for blush because I do love these flimsy kind of brushes for blush. But maybe for like a finishing powder, this type of brush would be nice. And then this would be great for like powder, of course, or like very precise bronzing. But we're gonna be using those brushes with this. So this is a face palette from Cover FX and I'm really excited because I love Cover FX so much. It's one of my favorite brands. And this is their Perfector face palette. So you get a really good mirror in here. It's pretty big. And then you get a finishing powder, a brightener, a highlighter, a contour, and another highlighter and a blush. The one that I'm least drawn to actually is like the biggest powder here because it's, it's like a finishing powder that has a bunch of glitter throughout it. It's like very strange. I wouldn't ever use that. I don't know. I don't really like this one. Like, I just don't get it. It's like matte, but also glittery. Not my thing, but I am really excited to try everything else. So really quickly, I'm just gonna speed through this part. I'm gonna try to use all of these powders, except for this one in the middle, because I just know, I just know. But I'm even gonna use these on the eyes. So I'm just gonna do a quick everyday look, and yeah, I'll let you know how I feel.
Okay. Here's the thing, I love Cover FX and I've used so many of their products in the past, but while I was applying the contour, I was noticing so much mudding. Like it just wasn't blending out properly. It was getting so muddy in those areas and I was just so confused about that. But I honestly think it might be because of the face mask. When I was applying my foundation, even though it covered a lot, I was noticing as I was telling you guys, my face was getting really hot and my face just looked pretty red. And I feel like my redness is still kind of peeking through the foundation and it's kind of throwing me off when it comes to this palette. I was especially noticing that when I was applying the blush on this side, it's like I already had some red cheeks, you know? The highlighter on this side is very, very subtle. It gives you more of that natural glow, but when I applied the brightener on top, it got really, really bold, which I really like. This brightener shade is so smooth and pearly and really, really pretty. And then I used this highlighter shade as eyeshadow and I really like it. It reminds me of MAC All That Glitters. Do you remember that eyeshadow from back in the day? That's what that reminds me of. But yeah, I don't know how I feel at this point because I feel like I look a little muddy and I'm not exactly sure if that was the contour or the face mask underneath. But besides these two shades, I do like the rest. Also, I'm sure these brushes are really good. It's just for what I was using them for. They don't really work for that. I started using this to contour and I realized that, that wasn't working. So I used another brush, but this would be really, really great for like a finishing powder, for foundation or anything like that. And then actually this brush is really nice. I noticed after that I hadn't used it, but this gives you like an overall glow, which I really do like. You can just like swoop it all over your cheek and it applies it a lot more natural and a lot more blown out. This brush would also work really well for like a blush topper. If you have a blush that's like really shimmery and kind of highlights at the same time, this would be a really nice way to apply that. So, oh my gosh, I haven't told you the price of anything. Damn it. So the Cover Effects palette is obviously full size. This retails for 45 bucks. This brush set retails for $29.99. And the Wonder Beauty face mask retails for $34. Pretty pricey stuff, pretty pricey stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna stay in this zoomed in angle because we are almost done. <gasps> am I a fool or am I a fool? Oh my gosh, I'm, like, I just got back. I just got back from Colorado and it's like, I don't know how to film anymore. I have a liquid eyeshadow I needed to use. <gasps> That's okay, we can put it on top, right? This is from the brand Appeal Cosmetics, and this is their liquid eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. Rose Gold. Either you're colorblind or I'm colorblind, because you don't look rose gold to me. You look gold. Ooh, this comes with like a brush. I thought it, for sure it was gonna be a doe foot applicator. This is like a copper. I don't know why I'm so triggered by the name of this, but I am. Okay, let me zoom you in a little. Um, this could be a hot mess since I already have eyeshadow on, but I am just gonna brush this on my lid close to my lashes and then I'm gonna tap it in. Ooh, or maybe I could use it like some sort of eyeliner instead because it has this like brush applicator, which is really freaking cool. I feel like they're usually doe foots. And then let's see, let's just tap it out so it looks nice and blended and there are no harsh lines. Ooh, I kind of like that. It's subtle. I really like that. Wow, I've never heard of this brand, I don't think. This is a full size product and it retails for $21 and I really like it. It gives such a subtle sparkly sheen. I feel like you would really like this as well if you don't like a harsh glitter. If you want something that just gives you a wash of sparkle. And I love the applicator. I love that it's like a brush. Wow, I'm a Brits, I'm a Brits. And then last but certainly not least, we have an Ofra liquid lipstick, which is always exciting because Ofra liquid lipsticks are some of the best liquid lipsticks on the market, hands down. This is in the sh shade, this no has sticker? Did it say it on here? Oh my gosh. Is it like an exclusive BoxyCharm shade? It just says hashtag Ofra Rose, but all of these say like hashtag Wander Rose, hashtag Cover FX Rose. So I don't know if this is a new shade. It looks extremely familiar, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is the color on my lips. At first, when I was starting to apply it, I was like, uh. And then like that. But now that I see it on my lips, I actually do like this color. And I typically don't like metallic liquid lipsticks, especially now more than ever. I used to be into them, but there's something about a matte metallic look that I don't really love anymore. But I can totally see myself wearing this color with like a really deep, rich, matte lip liner underneath and just adding some of this on top to give it a little bit of dimension, but not be like a full on metallic lip. I feel like if I use it like that, I would really, really like it because on its own, it's not my favorite. I would have preferred a creamy finish, 
not a metallic one, but I can definitely make this work. Like I could definitely see myself wearing this lip in the future because I think with the right mixing, that could be a really nice color. But yeah guys, that completes this video. Oh, wait, no, this is full size. This retails for $20. I have a horrible memory. I always forget to tell you that. So I added everything up in my calculator and the overall value of the box this month is $150. That's expensive, that's a lot of money. And you do pay $21 for the box every month. So I feel like even though sometimes in these monthly boxes, you get a product or two that you're like mm. but I feel like in the end you discover some hidden gems that you wouldn't normally pick yourself like I really like this I'm gonna use this more often I would say this is my favorite product in the box I definitely have unboxed other boxes that I like more than this month but I've also unboxed boxes that I liked less than this month so I'm really excited to keep trying these products I have to use them a little bit more to see how I really feel, but the only product I was like, eh, about was this. Oh my god, this is in the shade Monaco. It's right here. It's right here, not in the bottom. I'm so silly. But anyway, let me know in the comments below how you felt about this month's box. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What did you get? Let's discuss in the comments below. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Mm -hmm. ah! So I just removed the face mask. So I just removed the face masks. <laughs> I keep saying that like that. <laughs>